Hi there YouTubers, working on one of the next projects. This is, I showed in a past video where the handle of this thing broke. And uh, it was just some kind of handle off of something. I think it was an old shovel. I don't know, but the thickness here was small enough that it would go through the taper attachment or go through the through hole in my lathe. The new one wasn't, so I had to sit here, see all the little filings. I was sitting there with a, um, I can't, a little hand, small hand plane and plane it and plane it. And then once I got it close, I would go over here and push it into the through hole, which this is the other end of it, and where it got its grease and crap from the dirt that's inside there, then I knew where to sand it, and I kept whittling it on it, whittling on it, and uh, sanding it, and doing all sorts of stuff, and finally got to where I think I can put the taper on. Now, I don't know how to do a taper attachment, work a taper attachment, so you guys are going to watch a <laughs> nut at work, I guess, and I don't know where to, exactly the best location to put you, so we'll put you right close and I don't know if I'm doing it right don't care whether I'm doing it right it's just a little handle that I got someplace out of the trash and uh, actually I think this is what I got to taper it down to and I think I got all the taper part set so you're just gonna kinda watch me start tapering I guess it's just some of the nonsense and this is a project that I want to get done with here um, even though I never finish any projects, but um, I have a mark. Ugh. I don't know if you can see that mark there. That's about how long it has to be. So um, I'm gonna see what I'm doing. See if I can do what I think I'm gonna do. So if I come up here, run this in here, and then put the feed on. Put the feet on harder. It's got a little bit of wobble to it. I guess that's just the way wood is. This is when I w wish I knew how to edit and zoom through faster, but we don't, so you might not see the whole thing. But you can kind of get an idea on what's going on here. Maybe I can bring you over here a little closer. It's not quite as... Is this paint drying or is this paint drying, guys? I hope it doesn't roll up over there. Once it gets smooth, it probably won't. So now I'm going to open this up so the feed stops. Roll this back a hair. Come up to about there, go in and touch off, put the feed on again. Now to prevent that from blowing out, I gotta drill a half inch hole in there. Um, so I gotta put this Lock the uh, clutch in on the lathe. So that's what I'm working on, but you can kind of almost see a, a taper starting on there already. I don't know, it really doesn't show too good in the screen. That's a little bit more taper than I wanted. I think I'll only take it about a half inch up because it's really cutting a lot. But I think the taper's right. I probably got the wrong bit in there. Well, back that out of here. Undo that clutch. Come up here. And do it again. I don't know what the official amount you're supposed to take off on wood. I'm sure there's a lot of people going to hammer me about running a metal lathe with wood on it, but hey, 
It's a machine. It can do what I want it to do. It's going to do it. When I get along, the next long cut, I'll take you in the other room, show you what else I'm working on. I always have a list of things that I'm working on here. Because it takes, I guess I can watch the clock to see how long the thing takes. I could probably set it faster, but I really don't care. Nice smooth cut. This thing dropped off. Oh my goodness. We'll set it there for me to lose. I got to see it feeds itself. And it's at the end. So you have to unlock this. Bring this back a hair. Come back up here. And I think I'll take about that much. Go in and touch it. That's about all I need to take at a time. I'm not, not in a hurry. And see, this thing will feed. Okay, we're at 620 right now on the minute wise, according to my, there's a uh, clock on this uh, camera. So it tells you how long, those, lets me know when I'm gonna run at 30 minutes. As slow as this is going, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I already forget, what did I say, 620? How quick we forget. Another problem I'm going to have is this thing here, can you see it? It's not, not the most round thing in the world. It's crunched there. It's, it's got a weld down the center, a weld down the inside. Just something I got from somewhere. I don't know. It was an old handle off of something. I keep that kind of stuff because you never know when you're going to use it. And you guys know that I'm cheap or frugal or whatever. That's so I can waste my money on other things. That thing sounds like it's got a little bit of chatter to it. It looks like it's coming pretty good, 620. So it's taking a minute a cut, minute and a half a cut. Each one's gonna take a little bit longer. All right. Undo that, roll that back. Come on up here. Go until we touch. All right, I got a minute. Let's go go in the other room and show you what I'm working on in there. Always got a ton of stuff going on. <clears throat> Turn on the light up. Oh, the light's already on. The boss is in here. We're doing a video, dear. You better run. I'm working on a. I think it's an even pure uh, little little heater. And I got it all apart. I got to test the, um, test the, it, it has little light bulbs in it like this. It's what makes the heat. And they're, according to the wiring diagram, they're hooked from one to the other to the other to the other. So if one of them is burned out, then none of them will work. So that's what I got to test. But I'm not quite sure how to do that. Well, I know how to do it, but I just got to do it. But that's nighttime stuff. Today's daylight stuff. This should, this should actually be nighttime stuff out here. Let's see how we're doing. Ah, we're only halfway down. We're at nine minutes. I guess you guys could probably make it all the way through. If you can hear that, it's actually chattering, I think. And it might roll up over the tip, I have no idea. I don't even remember tightening it on the chuck, to be honest with you. I should probably check that. I need A-bomb to teach me how to do this. Or Jeffrey. He probably knows how to do it. 
I don't think he has a taper on any of his lathes though. Ah, uh, that looks like a pretty light cut. Once we get into a long one, I see how long it takes. We'll run you out and um, show you the wind spinner. I got it finished painted and put up today. Just one of the things. Another thing that you guys would probably like, I'll put you in the uh, tripod for that, which I think you could probably hear it, but it's a hydraulic tailstock. Because I got to drill, drill that out. I'm going to leave that. Well, that's. I don't remember. Okay. Anyhow, you turn it on up here. Where are we at? Where's my hand? There it is. You turn it on here. And then see it go in and out. It goes, it's hydraulic. So I can go in and touch that a little bit. If it was chattering, it'd probably stop it. You want it to go forward, you just press press this forward. You want it to go back, you just press that forward. There's some good things about that and some not so good things about that. Let me move you back over here. But I got to drill the hole uh, quite a ways down. Where's some nice old sandpaper down here? I don't see any. that up come on up here we'll split that in half right about there can you see the line that's coming around all right we're at 12 17 see how long it takes to do a full almost full now I could get a file in my pile of files down here funny sound to it. Hear it? It's got to be chatter. And I don't know how much I got to take off of that, so we'll slip it on. I'm taking, I'm not really paying any attention to what I'm taking right now, to be honest with you. But if you take if you take uh, one on the dial, so if you take ten thousandths on the dial, that's taking twenty thousandths off because it's taking ten off of both sides. But I'll probably mess it up because I got the potential to. Too bad. We'll um, move the old tripod out of the way for a minute. We'll back this thing up for a minute. Oops, got to go another. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Now, prop, oh, I don't know where my Allen wrench is. I got it. I think the Allen wrench is back at the sawmill. It takes a real big Allen wrench to do this. I just got to put a stop on there. But this isn't that critical. All right. We're going to touch off and see what it's at. We're touching off at 50. We're touching off at 50. So that's probably all done 55. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go another 
Well, I've already started, so I better not change it. I'll screw it up. You can't go backwards because of the play in the the play in the thing. All right, we're at 1506. Put you here, you can't see nothing. Put you here, I can't do nothing. So I guess I'll just hold it. Sometimes that's the only way you can do what you want to do. Now, does it kind of look does it kind of look like what it's supposed to be? got to drill the half inch hole as deep as the drill will go. Here's the drill. In fact, I got the pilot in there right now. I could switch that out. I think I'll do that. I think next I'm going to try to see how close it is to fitting. Just making another pickaroon. This one here I used at the boiler for pulling uh, some of the stuff out of those crates, pulling it closer to me. All right, let's turn this thing off for a second. We'll back this up. Oh, you can hear the motor for the, here's this. I forgot to turn it off. Turn that off. Let's see how this thing is starting to... Like I said, this thing isn't round, but that thing I got now is pretty round, so it's going to have to take a couple more cuts. We'll take a... I think I was at 50 on the last one, so we'll um, come back up here. Roll this back up here. Roll that in, see what I'm at here, 50, so I'll go 55, turn it back on, go to, I think I'll go 60, so I'm taking 20 thousandths off of it. And then we'll see how it fits. So now I'm on 60 on my dial. I don't know. You can't really read it here. You can't read it in the screen. You guys might be able to see it. I'll know later. Oh, there it is. And like I said, this thing in perfectly round. So if I get it close and just hammer the hammer it in, but then I got to figure the timing of this hole here to the. Um, this is supposed to just screw in. It's supposed to screw in. I drilled a hole in it, and uh, but I want to screw that in and then repin it. So I gotta kind of figure out the direction of that. Put a timing mark on there, screw it in, and then drill that kind of accordingly. Which I might be able to do that. It's. Uh, I'm not sure if this is better than no movie or not. Look like it's focused on this uh, camera at all. It's just kind of a white blur. But I 
that's the way it is. I got files everywhere, don't I? Kind of hard to do with one hand. Let's um, back this back, turn this off. Where did that, oh, I guess I left the cone out there, didn't I? Oh, uh, we got, I uh, say an inch to go. So we'll take another, another 20 off of the same amount as we just took. Uh, where can I put this so I can lose it? Uh. So we'll go. See, now we're here. We're going to go to 70. We're on the road again. That moved up, uh, it was an inch, about an inch away. So 10 thousandths, I'll have to see how much that goes because I'd like that to be kind of tight on there. What that does is it just gives the end, it gives the end of these a lot of strength. Then I just put a nail in there and, and bang them over. Uh, but it would give the end a lot of strength because there's a lot of force on there. And then this is screwed in trying to push that out so then the next thing I got to do is figure out how to get that rubber handle off. I think I might have put glue on there. Here's a couple of those starting cans that I, I crashed. Oh, I did get all my um, cat food cans all cleaned up. I got all my Coke cans cleaned up. That's what I've crunched already. So I'm moving a little bit. Move slow, you know me. I think we're going to run out of time because I don't think this one's going to have it and I didn't really until I watch the movie I won't know how long it takes to do the full full strength so far I'm pretty pleased with it been putting on some shorts with my new camera, but I haven't figured out how to protect it in my pocket yet. Or even how to hold it in my pocket. hickory I'm not sure what it is either hickory or ash it's kind of white I you know I think it's probably ash because uh, I don't know that's just what I think it is all right we'll back this out we'll turn this off we'll get this and see how close it how close it comes up now it really, eh, it moved. I think one more cut and it might get me there. I want it to be snug, so I want it to hammer on the last, the last little bit. Whoops. I want to go into 80 this time. I go to 82 and hope that that's the last one 
but you ain't gonna make it. So while that's doing that, I'll sit here and find the chuck, try to board at the same time. Trying to do this one hand, it ain't working. I'll put you on here for a second. Try to get the hill hole drill at the same time. See if we can do two things at the same time here. Chatter stops when you got a support back there. I think this will have it. Of course, it might be hitting there. Nope. stopped something stopped oh crap I got uh, I dropped my drill bit down in there oh, I just screwed that up you see that guys oh well you guys got everything here it'll be under that cover won't make any difference Try to do too many things at one time for an old man ain't good. They just got a little gouge there. And I might have to take another cut anyway. All right. Got a little gouge out there, which doesn't make me happy. It was going good till that drill bit got stuck in there. But you see everything here, some good, some bad. And that's just the way it is. I don't can't edit anything out is what the truth is. But I probably wouldn't edit that out anyway because that's that's real life. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'm going to hope I got to take one more cut off of it. And this bottomed out on the stroke, so I got to move it all forward to finish getting that in there anyway. So I hope you guys like this one. It's a little bit oddball for me, but it's stuff that I do. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and send this to a friend if you think anybody you know would be interested in it. Bye-bye now.